What up fam, it's your boy Rock coming at you with another video and guys, I am finally back. I finally returned after a little small hiatus. Anyways guys, if you just are wondering why I keep waving my arms around, it's just because of this. Little bit too cringy? Come on, dog. This is for you, Sneaker Tech. Ha, get that out of here. Anyways guys, I have returned with another unboxing and this came from Sneakers and Stuff. And inside this box, guys, I have the new City Sock 2 Ronins. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. One thing I do love about Sneakers and Stuff is their packaging. No knife, no nothing, just this little pool tab right here. And there you guys have it. I do have my latest pickup here, which is an Adidas Originals box. Usually it's in blue, but this time it's going to be in black. And you got some debossing here of the logos, the three stripes, and so on and so forth. And there is the tag right there. You got the NMD City Sock 2 PKs. I'm so used to opening up Ultra Boosts that I kind of forgot how an NMD box looks like. But let's go ahead and take a look at this. I've already seen this, so I'm really excited to get these in my possession because I thought they were just going to be a sample pair, but Adidas actually released them, so let's take a look. Oh my god. Look at these beautiful things. Woo, these are fire. And here you guys have it, the City Sock 2 from the Ronin pack. And let's do a quick 360 of this guy so you guys can see the shoe for itself. Man, look at this thing. So dope. I love how different this looks. So let's go ahead and talk about the shoe. This shoe has a full prime knit upper here and it is a one booty system, meaning that this is just all one piece here. Obviously, you guys can see the little stripes that you can see within the knit, these little stripes that you see right here. It's gonna be peppered with black in there. And as you guys can see, we do have a pattern breakup here on the top of the foot. We do have all this stripes in white. And I don't know if you guys can notice it, but it's actually going the opposite direction of the black stripes, so it's kind of doing like a cross hatch thus making this stand out a little bit more. If you guys take a look at it, it's actually like a big circle pattern right over here. And the funny thing about this is when me and my friend Steph saw this for the very first time, we were just like, no thanks, we're good. Like, we don't even know what this pattern design is supposed to represent. Maybe it's supposed to represent like where you had to kick the ball or someone's dome piece. But we were just making fun of this and we we're like, this is kind of dumb. But after seeing JC, Wear this at the Boost God pop up. There we yeah. are. that right there, man. <laughs> They're like freaking awesome. How do they feel, bro? Uh, I'm wearing Nike socks. I'm sorry. Hey, no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're a little bit shorter than the uh, original uh, city sock. Yeah. Uh, I went half size up on these. Okay. Okay. Cold oh no, oh, dang, no, no, Blake, come uh, on, man, come on. But, uh, <laughs> I just fell in love with this shoe. Like, it looks so sick, and. I don't even mind that this is a, like a random pattern on here. Moving on to the collar, and I personally think that this is the best part of the shoe, is this overlapped collar here. Before, it used to look like this, just a simple sock-like collar, but now it looks like this, and honestly, I think it looks so freaking dope like this. Probably the best thing about the new City Socks is this collar right here. This alone made me like it. And I cannot wait for the other colorways to drop because I might be picking up a little bit more. Anyways, you guys got the color here in white and obviously you do have the blue stripes in there as well. On the back of the shoe, we have this tan pull tab over here. I don't believe it's going to be like a leather, it's more like a pleather. But if you guys were wondering what it says on the back, it says the brand of three stripes in four different languages. Moving on to the midsole, we do have a boost midsole obviously, but this is going to be the new R2 midsole. Those who don't know, in comparison, here is the R1s. You do have uh, tabs here on the lateral side of the shoe. We have one right here, one right here, and obviously you don't have them on this shoe anymore. Gone is the tabs, but in replacement you do have this deboss stripes right here within the boost just to represent that missing block that we used to have. The only block that you do see on this shoe here is going to be in the medial side and you have this larger block. Compared to what we're used to in the R1s, 
you definitely have a bigger scale block on here. And this is the only EVA block that we had to worry about on the shoe. And obviously it's gonna be made out of navy. On the bottom of the shoe here, we have a translucent outsole. Basically has the same outsole as the R1s, just a little bit aesthetic designs from the top and the bottom here. But it's still the same outsole. And then in the inside, we do have this tan insole. It's gonna be the same color as this pull tab here. I can't remove this because it's stitched in, but it's gonna be the same insole that you do get from the uh, NMD R1s. Now, knowing that this is going to be a brand new model, I took the safest route and I just got my true to size, which is a size US 8. Honestly guys, I could have gone down half a size to have a better fit. However, what I do feel like would happen is this EVA plug here would actually rub into my foot a lot more than it is right now. So I don't know if that's gonna be comfortable for you, because right now I could feel my foot hitting this, but it's not really gonna be stabbing in the inside of my foot. It's not gonna be super annoying or anything like that. Now, the only issue that I do have with this is that I could feel my foot sliding back and forth. It's a little bit too big, and obviously, I know when it comes to PK models, you wanna go down half a size, but since this is going to be a brand new model, I now know that in my future purchases, but for now, an eight, true to size, it's okay. I like it, it fits well. I'm still gonna rock it, cause this shoe is dope. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys off with the detailed shots and on feet video, and I'll see you guys at the end. for my review on the City Sock 2 from the Ronin Pack. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, what you guys think about the shoe, because I feel like the shoe is so sick. The whole Ronin Pack overall was so dope. Even the woman's polka dot version of this, 
Honestly, I might end up buying that maybe down the road. Probably not right now, but I don't know. We'll see. But if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit me up with a thumbs up. Share this with other NMD fans, Boost fans, Adidas heads out there because I think they'll really enjoy this video. Follow me and all my social media accounts. I will go ahead and link them in the description down below. And of course, guys, subscribe for more content because, guys, dude, we're almost at 3K. Yo, my boys and girls, thanks for the love. But that's all that I have for you guys for today. So until the next video, guys, always keep it cool, keep it fresh, keep it positive. But whatever you guys do, don't forget to boost your life and rock it cozy. It's your boy, right? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.